Good morning. Good morning. My name is Nicole Whiteman and I'm proudly the CEO of the Los Angeles Dodgers Foundation. Welcome to today's groundbreaking of Dodgers Dreamfields 59 and 60 here at Ed Vincent Jr. Park in the city of Inglewood. I feel such an amazing sense of community this morning. It's hot, but we always say it's hot and the sun is out for all of our Los Angeles Dodgers Foundation events. Thank you all for being here. The Los Angeles Dodgers Foundation is committing, committed to tackling LA's most pressing problems, which we believe to be homelessness, education, health care, and social justice. Our vision is that every Angelino should have the opportunity to thrive regardless of zip code. With our Dodgers Dreamfields program, we build and refurbish baseball and softball fields in underserved communities in the greater Los Angeles area. These fields provide a safe haven and a source of pride for families. Dodgers Dream Fields are game changers. They revitalize spaces and everyone has an adequate space to play. They boost the safety of local parks and they provide a place where youth and their families can gather, exercise, and play. With 58 fields built since 2003, we are so proud to have provided access to over 400,000 youth in the greater Los Angeles community. Today brings us one step closer to the goal of building and refurbishing 75 fields by the 75th anniversary of the Dodgers' move to Los Angeles in 2033. We couldn't be more thrilled to bring this vital resource to, to Inglewood, a place that I am so proud to call home. In 2016, we launched our inclusive sports-based youth development program, Dodgers Dream Team, formerly Dodgers RBI in Inglewood. To watch the program grow to 450 young boys and girls playing baseball and softball in the city of Inglewood today is truly special. Talk about revitalizing baseball. Our love for the city keeps intensifying. In 2017, we dedicated two Dodgers Dream Fields at Darby Park. And as I stand here today, I'm glad our partnership continues to thrive and I'm so excited that these two fields will bring immense impact to deserving youth and families in this city. The disparities in recreation and park access are very real. Latinos make up 49% of LA County's population and represent 64% of people who live in high park need, low life expectancy tracks. 8% of the LA County population identifies as black, but we, re we represent 14% of those who live in high park need, low life expectancy tracks. This leaves underserved communities, especially where black and brown youth reside, with significantly less opportunities to enjoy outdoor recreational spaces, and it can really impact health outcomes. The city of Inglewood has a very high park need, with only 43% of residents living within a half mile of a park. Youth under the age of 18 compromise, comprise 20% of the population, 15% of the city's residents live in poverty, and 90% identify as black or, or Latino. With the support of the Dodgers ownership group and our amazing board members like Eric Holloman, who's here with us today, the Dodgers Foundation is committed to being part of the solution. This moment is made possible thanks to our amazing partnership with the city of Inglewood. We are proud to call you an ally, and we thank you and your team, Sabrina Barnes, where's Sabrina hiding? Director of Parks, Recreation, and Community Services for your amazing leadership. I also want to acknowledge the incredible commitment of the numerous Inglewood Council members who support our efforts. This $1 million project will fund significant upgrades in order to make sure that this community has a quality field for play. The two fields will support youth ages 5 to 12 and high school baseball and softball age participants to utilize the fields. A new playing surface and grass will be included along with enclosed fields and fencing, upgraded dugouts, new irrigation systems, new pitchers mounds, bases and home plates, and two brand new LED scoreboards for both fields. We hope that the community, yeah, let's clap for that. the community is excited as we are. We thank the youth that are here today representing Dodgers Dream Team, Animo Inglewood Charter High School, and St. Mary's High School. And we thank you, Jessica Ochoa, Executive Director of Communications and Community Relations for the Inglewood Unified School District for also being here today. Where are you, Jessica? Wonderful. And as 
I like to say, partnership is the secret sauce. And today would not have been possible without the support of our sponsors. Thank you to the Annenberg Foundation, the LA84 Foundation, Delta, Security Benefit, San Manuel Band of Mission Indians, Nike, the Helen and Will Webster Foundation, and League Apps Fun Play. Thank you all so very much. It is now my pleasure to introduce you to who, someone who is an advocate for our youth in this city and who is so passionate about making Inglewood a safer place and frankly a fun place for all of our, us as residents. Representing our lead project uh, partner, please welcome Mayor James T. Butts. Good morning. Good morning. I need to put Nicole on my campaign committee. <laughs> Good. Now you guys, uh, before I get started, I want to introduce uh, a couple council people that are here. Councilman Alex Padilla from District 2. <laughs> Councilwoman Dion Falk from District 4. I know she gets tired to tell everybody, but she's the first elected African-American councilwoman in the history of the city, and we were incorporated in 1908, so let's kind of give it up for you. Yeah. You know, a lot of things have been happening in the city of Inglewood, and the Dodgers have been here for a long time with us. Now, I want you to think about this. They said, I think she said she, they want to do 79 fields, 75, in the, 75 fields in the project. There are 88 cities in the county, they already did Darby Park. We have two fields here. So we got three out of the uh, 75. So we're doing pretty good. So let's hear it for the Dodgers. This city has a lot of rich history, but we've made a lot of history in the last seven years. This is a city that's obtained three professional sports franchises. The LA Philharmonic Youth Orchestra Program left LA to come here, right next to City Hall. The Girl Scouts of Greater Los Angeles left Marina Del Rey, they're 35,000 strong, their headquarters are here. YouTube has the, the YouTube Theater here. Showtime just leased 115,000 square feet of production studio in the north end of town. Uh, the NC2A Championship Bowl Series will be here in 2023. Not just the championship game, but the whole bowl series. Uh, I never knew WrestleMania was so big. They'll be here in 2023. Yes. Rolling Loud will be here in 2023. The Clippers yeah. open in 2024. Um, FIFA World Cup in 2026. And the Summer World Olympic Games in 2028. And we'll have basketball and swimming here in the greatest city of Inglewood. And so I want to tell you, though, before... We got to be hot. The Dodgers were here for us and our kids. And I really, really want to give them a big hand. Because Edward Vincent Park is the largest park in the South Bay. It's between 73 and 75 acres, depending on where the gophers are. <laughs> And you guys, these are good historic times. And the Dodgers are here with the city as we continue to make history. People will look back at this last seven, ten years in Inglewood, and they'll say, that was when Inglewood changed again. We, we had the Alpha when we had the Lakers and the Kings and the racetrack, and all that went away. And now we're to the Omega when we have so much more. So thank you, Dodgers Foundation. Thank you for the residents that believed when it was pretty hard to believe there was going to be anything here in the city. And uh, I just look forward to seeing the first games played here in our new field of dreams. Thank you very much, everybody. Tuesday. We start the National League Division Series. Um, the teams already began the workouts. Uh, workouts happen today. Um, I tell people all the time we have the most generous players in all of baseball. I talk to my colleagues at other teams, I promise you. I'm not lying. 
Um, today, I'm really excited that we have two of our Dodger players with us. And at this time, I want to introduce to you Los Angeles Dodgers infielder and Sir Alberto. Good morning. Yo hablo español. Buen día a todos. Es un privilegio para mí poder estar aquí, acompañar a Dyer's Foundation y, y todo lo que tiene que ver con esto. De verdad que es un, un gran logro para la comunidad, un gran logro para la ciudad entera y así poder ver el desarrollo eh, de los muchachos. Eh, espero que les sirva de mucha ayuda para el crecimiento, tanto en el softball como en el béisbol, esperando que puedan sacar el mayor de los provechos, que puedan ayudar eh, a su comunidad a seguir creciendo. Eh, es un trabajo grande que está haciendo las Dodgers, en conjunto con muchas personas y sponsors. Eh, espero que le pueda ayudar y de verdad que estoy contento de ver cómo los, la fundación, cómo los Dodgers eh, se integran a las comunidades, eh, que es un gran paso y es algo que va a ayudar mucho. Así que muchas gracias, espero que lo disfruten. Gracias por todo, Hunter. We appreciate you being here today again before the postseason. Um, Evan has been really fantastic, frankly, to work with you on a couple of events the last couple of months. Um, we have a real um, opportunity at the Dodgers Foundation to also work with our players, spouses, and significant others. And in Liz Phillips, we have gained a bit of a gem, and I'm really excited to invite Liz forward to uh, talk to you all as well. Well, hello, everybody. Hey, good morning, guys. Good morning. Um, my name is Evan Phillips. I'm uh, number 59 for the Dodgers. So. Uh, Today being the 59th and 60th uh, Dodgers Dreamfield uh, groundbreaking event, um, I really felt important for me to be here and for my wife also. Uh, coming to the Dodgers has just been an absolute blessing for us. Uh, we're very fortunate to have uh, played some great baseball, but uh, we're also very excited to do you know events like this and, and help make a make an impact in a, a new community to us. So um, uh, thank you everyone for being here. Thank you Nicole um, for inviting us to such a wonderful event. Um, Mayor Butts, it sounds like a lot's going on here in Inglewood. Uh, there's a lot to be excited about. Um, but as I was sitting down listening, you know, my eyes gazed to the, to the field behind me, and uh, there's a group of kids playing baseball. And you know, what's most important to me in this event is that it's going to provide opportunities for you know all kinds of different kids to come out here and learn this game. It's the, the game I love most. Uh, so I really do hope this has a great impact on the next generation of baseball. Um, and like I said. Uh, this is such a wonderful event for everybody, and I'm just very thankful to be a part of it. Okay, so we'll lift up the dirt, looking right here. Smile. All right, and then we'll throw the dirt on three. One, two, three. Perfect. Somebody can teach me how to play the game. And very special and see the, them, you know, uh, around us. It's very special because they're gonna get a good memory and obviously they're gonna get a good feel to practice. And who knows, one day they, you know, it can be right here with us. So that, that, that's that's the main thing. That's what we wanna create, you know, those good memories for them and to teach them how important it is to help the community, to support, and obviously follow your dreams. You know, last time at uh, reading book. <laughs> this time your <of> speech. <laughs> How important you are this thing? It's good, it's pretty good, it's pretty special. I think Dodgers Foundation is doing a really good job. And uh, like I say, you know, for the development of the kids, the community, and uh, you know, all the one is help. So in doing this, the Dodgers are helping a lot. And then, uh, you know, prayer coming. How do you prepare? Oh, we're ready. We're ready right now, we're healthy, so we're working a lot. and. Uh, we can't wait to the 11. Next week, we're gonna be ready, give it 100% like always in the field. So, I hope we get the fan support like always and uh, get the W's. That's what we want. Hitting only or pitching? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> pitching, no more. That wasn't the regular season. Now, <laughs> 
play of time, so you gotta be ready to swing the ball or you know, do whatever the manager asks for.